Hey everybody, today I'm going to do something uh, that I haven't done before and it's, uh, I guess you could kind of call it a tutorial. It's going to be a two-part series. I'm going to be doing um, an Avon demonstration tomorrow. My mother-in-law sells Avon and uh, the woman who kind of runs the office asked if I wanted to come in and do a demonstration. So I'm going to do, uh, you know, kind of give someone a makeover in front of a group of people. I'm really nervous about it, but... Um, I figured that what I would do today is, I, like I said, a two-part series. The first part, I'm going to do um, my face routine. And then the next part, I'm going to do my eyes and show you some of the techniques that I use there. Um, and I'm going to be using the um, eyeshadow that I'm going to be uh, doing tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, you know, let's get started. To start off, I like to use um, a primer. First of all, by the way, let me start off. My hair isn't greasy. I just got out of the shower, and I just wanted a nice, clean face to work with. You know, I just came home from work, so I had makeup on all day today, and I just, I wanted to start fresh. So that's why, you know, it's not grease. It's just, it's just washed. Um, but anyway, to start off, I like to start off with a primer. Um, as I mentioned before, I mentioned it in my drugstore video, my drugstore, um, discoveries video that I actually for a primer I like to use monostat chafing gel and that's because it has the same ingredients as um as other actually more high-end primers so that's why I'm going to use this one so I'm just going to take a little bit I'm just going to put it all over my face and make sure it gets in there I like using my fingers for primers I like using my fingers for um for eyelid primers and for face primers, when you're doing someone else's makeup, I mean, I use this one. I use the Sigma Round Kabuki Brush. Uh, that's the F82. Um, I like using that, but when I'm doing my old makeup, I just like to make sure that my hands are clean, and then I do, you know, do it all myself. Okay, so to move on next, and for some reason, this is a step that I always, I don't know why, I forget it, and then I do it later, um, but that's to use concealer. Uh, to conceal the under eyes and conceal the blemishes. Uh, so I'm going to be using the NYX Photogenic Concealer. And I don't know what color this is. Um, I've looked before and I can't seem to find it. I don't know why. Um, so you just put some under your eye. And that's where I'd like to start. And then you could either just kind of pat it on lightly. Or you could like rub it in. And it just gets rid of those dark under eye circles. Because you can see it just looks a little nicer. You just rub it in. Again, you can use a concealer brush, but I don't really like to. And then my face is really red right now because I've just got out of the shower and it's really warm. So I just like to take concealer and just kind of run it along my face and blend it in just to kind of hide the redness. As you can see, it kind of like helped a little bit. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to put on concealer, but this is the way that I put on concealer. I want to get the NYX concealer that's in the actual pot, but I can't seem to find it in store, so I'm going to have to um, order that online. And I got a little, my mirror's right here, so if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm sorry. And then you just kind of dab it in. Okay. Now, my nose, I could see right now, is it's a little red, so... In order to kind of counteract the redness, you would use a green concealer. And I'm going to be using the NYX concealer um, in just green. And if you look on the color wheel, green is directly across from red, so they're opposite. So when you put on green, it will hide the red. And I know that I'm going to look a little weird right now. But if you put some on your nose, you know, on your cheeks, I know it's going to look a little funky right now, but then once you kind of... Um, hide it with your liquid foundation or whatever it is that you use after that um you know it's all going to kind of look a little better okay so to move forward you would use um i use a foundation and i'm going to use the revlon color safe foundation i think this is the normal to dry yeah normal to dry skin and i use ivory so and this is fairly new so i actually just opened this this morning it's not even dirty um so i take a little bit and i put some on my hand. I just like to take some and kind of dab it on the face a little bit. You're just kind of getting it everywhere. Okay. And I have still a little bit on my hand and I'll go back for that. I didn't mention to begin with, but I like having a towel on my lap. As you can see, it's like kind of dirty right now, but I'm using a clean portion of it. Um, 
And I just like keeping it on my lap so I could wipe off my brushes as I go along. So for this step, you know, I'm just kind of rubbing out my brush so it's like, you know, it feels nice and smooth. And for this, I'm going to be using the um, Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. And when I do my, um, my foundation, I don't like to like just rub it in right away, but I kind of just like to, to kind of pat it in and do like just short little strokes. And then, you know, as I go along once in a while, I'll just kind of like buff it in if I want to. But in the meantime, I kind of just like doing that. And then my neck, I like to just get a little bit and I, I go fast right there. I don't, I don't have to pat or anything. And then I just use the rest of what's on my hand. I just like to get everything on my cheek. That's where I use the rest of it. Okay, so that looks good for now. And then what, you know, you could add more, but you also don't want to make it look too cakey. So what I like to do, and again, my hands are clean, but, um, and I actually read this in, I don't know what it's called, but the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual, and she said there's nothing like using your fingers to just kind of smooth your foundation. And so once I'm done, I just kind of like to run my fingers over my foundation and it just kind of sets it and gives it a little more natural look. If you want, if you notice that you might want a little more uh, concealer, you could put some in. There you go. My face is still a little red, but I'm a little warm. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and now I like to move on to a powder to set my foundation. And you could use a translucent powder or you could use a colored powder. I like using a colored powder. And I'm going to be using the NARS Loose, um, loose Powder, and it's in Flesh. And I really like this. I mean, the packaging, I was reading a review on it today. Um, she posted it like last year and she said that the packaging gets dirty quickly and she's absolutely right. It's just, I think just, you know, what it's made of, it just, it's prone to get dirty. So I'm going to use a little bit of this and it comes with so much. And I actually, and I mentioned in my um, brush review video that I have two of these. So I'm going to be using the flat kabuki brush again. And I'm just going to kind of get a little bit on here. And again, I'm not going to like rub it in, but I'm just kind of going to dab it all over my face. Okay. And as you can see, it's just very, it looks so nice and smooth. I really do love using this stuff. It's, it's pricey, but for me, it was totally worth the price. Um, so what I like to do next is, um, and this is kind of, I'm going to cut it off in a second. Well, first, you know what, let me start with this. I usually do my blush or bronzer at the end of the video, uh, well, at the end of my makeup routine, because I don't like the blush or bronzer to compete with the eyes, but since I kind of know what I'm doing and the look that I'm going for, I'll show you this now because I want it to be in this video. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um... You know, I'll show you what I'm going to use. And for tomorrow's demonstration, I'm going to be using um, this palette. I'm going to be using this brush, and I think it's called Good Glowing. I can't really see. It's kind of cut off, but this is from the Mark Collection by Avon, and I really like this one. So I'm going to use that, but first, I just, I like giving my face a little bit of bronzer, even if I don't want, you know, too much. So I'm going to be using, and I absolutely love this, and Nicole Webster Makeup um was the one that introduced me to this when I saw her review. And this is the PH Matchmaker from Physicians Formula. And I think I have the light bronzer, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, which brush do I want to use? I'm going to take this brush. This is the Sigma Large Powder Brush. Uh, so I'm not, because I, I don't want to really contour, but I just want to get a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to take it. I'm just going to tap off my brush. I'm just kind of going to... 
Got some on my cheeks, a little bit on my neck. A little bit on my forehead. I'm going to do a little contouring, but nothing too harsh. Just to kind of give it a nice glow. Okay. And then I'm going to move on to this blush. And this br uh, blush is it's so pretty. It's like this beautiful peachy. I don't know if you could see that. This beautiful peachy shade. So for this, I'm going to be using the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, um, F40. I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush. I'm going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. bit here. I don't know why I like spreading it out. So there you go. Nothing too harsh, but just nice little little kick there. And then me, I and I did a, um, a blog about this also. I love using highlighters. <laughs> so I'm going to use this and I'm going to use the Sigma Dua Fiber Brush F50. So I'm going to use this. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit on the cheekbones. And you can see that kind of just slightly highlights right here. And there you have it. And I'm going to keep this in this video because this is part of my routine that I do. I like to just kind of take whatever's off of my lips. You know, if I, you know, if it's a little dry and I like taking the towel that's on my lap and just rubbing it across my lips. And before I put on my eyelid primer, which is going to be in the next video, I like to um I like to keep my lips nice and moist while I'm doing my makeup. And then at the end, I'll blot whatever's on my lips and I'll put um some lipstick on. But for this, I'm going to be using my new uh Viva um Viva Glam uh, Ricky Martin lip conditioner. As you can see, I got it today and I used a little bit before, but I'm so excited and this stuff is amazing. I think I'm going to do a full review on it soon. But um so I'm going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my hand. I'm just going to take the rest. I'm just going to put it on my lips. And now as you're doing your makeup, now your lips are nice, you know, nice and smooth and moist for when you put on um, your lip gloss, stick, liner, whatever you want. So that's it for now that is my face routine and now I'm gonna move on to my eyes that I'm gonna do for the Avon demonstration so I hope that everyone enjoyed it um please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel check out my blog and um, I'll see you guys in a few minutes bye